Hi, uh, my name is Jason Latimer, and I'm playing George. I'm J.C. Kreider. I am playing Lenny. So the story was set back in the 1920s and 30s uh, during the Dust Bowl, the Great Depression. My character, George, is a migrant worker bouncing from town to town with Lenny working on ranches. They've had a tough go of it lately. They, they can't seem to, to find a steady job. They're always getting into trouble. And he's just trying to make a better life for himself and Lenny. My character, Lenny, is the epitome of innocence and childhood. Lenny needs George. Uh, he needs that parental figure. Due to his uh, mental disability, he, he lacks the ability to think at a higher level. Mental illness or mental disabilities, any kind of mental handicap, was not really understood for the longest time. People with those kinds of difficulties were cast aside or forgotten or just thrown in asylums. It's kind of exhausting for George, but George can't imagine a life without Lenny. There's a common theme with a lot of characters um, and it's everybody's dreaming of something. There's crooks talking about the good old days when, when life was good. You've got George and Lenny dreaming about uh, having their own place. You have Curly's wife dreaming about going off to, to Hollywood and being in movies. That dream and that that hope for something better is something that all humans have. That's something that unites all of us. Steinbeck is showing us that, hey, we're, we're not so different after all. The show deals with isolationism, with uh, prejudice, with bias, with marginalizing people that are different from you. You can take away, wow, we have come a long way, and I'm never going to be like that to anybody I meet. I'm never going to act like that to anybody, no matter the race, creed, color, gender. I'm going to treat everybody like they're somebody. The, the talent in this cast is incredible, from uh, Brad King, who was in uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame as Quasimodo, but then to take the the role of boss who has very little stage time, but his presence is there every single time he takes the stage. Ken Hendricks, Byron Bush, Andrew Jones. Whitney McDonald. Whitney is in a class all of her own. Dave Howard, it's just David Worth. The, the talent is incredible. You know, you can stay home on a Friday night and watch Netflix or YouTube, but there's something different about going to a theater and seeing a powerful story like this performed live. The fact that this kind of talent and this kind of story is available right here in Aiken is something you shouldn't miss. The tickets are on sale now. The show opens October 17th. You don't want to miss this.